Hi, uh, welcome to Project Pro Peg. This week we are doing the ends on the wings. Hi, and this week on Pro Peg's next top model, we have wings getting ends put onto them. Who will win? Ahoy, me hearties. Welcome back to Pro Peg. The um, something boat. It's doing stuff. G'day, welcome back to Project Brewpig, the story of a sunken fishing trawler converting into a global expedition and research boat. This week we have put some ends on our wings, so this is a really critical part for us to be able to start the skinning process. So we needed to finish off some internal strengthening, we've started to, to look at ways that we can do that. So that's basically taking the load from the hinges and spreading it down the wing and onto the strongest parts of the wing. And then also capping the wing, so putting the 6mm uh, plate at one end and the 16mm plate hinge at the other end. And all of this is leading to skinning sneak preview. We've finished the internal pin bracing on wing number one. Now we're just going to get stuck in and get it done on wing number two. Right now we've got our doublers welded in, we can start getting stuck into our gussets. Okay, now that we've got these guys welded in on wing number two, um, I need to obviously trim this back one here, just take that top edge off, but I'll do that when I've got the grinder handy. I'm gonna weld the, so this end piece that's on this wing here, I'm gonna basically weld the same one on this one here. So it's just a piece of 200 mil by 16 mil flat, um, flat bar. So we're gonna essentially find our center line and then weld it smack on like we've done with this one here. So it's just basically centering it up and then continuous welding it right along the end. This one doesn't have to be super precise because we're going to trim quite a bit of this off. Most of this is coming off but we need it to be sticking out either side so that we've got some to trim. I looked up and saw this and thought Renko had a baby sister coming into the harbour. If you like little trawlers, check out Stu's channel in the link above.
Right, we're up to the bits that matter. So I've taken the wing part of this hinge off. You can still see those hinge, stainless hinge plates are just tacked there. Fuel processor from last week. And I've got it down here. So I need to start mounting it onto this end of the wing. Um, but this is where alignment really becomes critical because this affects the um, angle of attack of these wings. What I'm thinking is maybe using a straight edge to go between the trailing edge and the leading edge, something, something like that. Use that as my flat plane and then align the hinge to suit that. If I do that on both sides, I think that's going to work. I'm just going to have to sit and ponder it for a few minutes and just sort of try and figure out every possible way that it cannot work so that I can make sure that what I'm doing is going to work okay. need to figure out an ingenious way to clamp this because it's way too heavy to hold and tack like I did with the 6mm plate down the other end. Solution found. I've got a whole bunch of these triangle offcuts, 10mm steel triangle offcuts, so I just welded a few of those in like that. I'll be able to clamp the 16mm plate onto the end of it, adjust it with a hammer where I want it so I can get it really fine tuned and then I can just grind those off later. The trouble I can see with this is we're going to pull the hinges out of alignment because essentially I'm bending the 16mm steel around the wing. But I don't necessarily think I have any choice so what I'm going to do is literally bend it, weld it on and then we'll realign these because we know that they're, they're good on the boat so we'll basically put the wing on, I should be able to align it from there. I hope. All right, so I'm starting to consider the possibility of moving these stainless hinge plates. Now, the reason I'm thinking about this is I don't necessarily like the way that they've lined up. So um, we have two forward thrust plates and nothing in reverse. We're relying on the pins not coming out on their own accord um, with little locking mechanisms that they had that John machined into them. What I'm thinking of doing is welding the 16 mil plate onto the wings and just letting that be wherever it needs to be. And then we'll readjust these hinges up on the boat. Now, as luck would have it, I went to the scrappy the other day to pick up some exhaust pipe um, for the little five kilowatt generator that we've got upstairs. And I grabbed some uh, bigger stuff for a future generator that we're gonna install. This is some 316 pipe. You can still see it's in the plastic wrap. Um, came from the scrapyard, so paid next to nothing for it. Got a few links of that ready for the exhaust. Um, that's gonna come up in a future build as well. But it's absolutely perfect um, dimensions to fit into these uh, holes here. These are two inch holes. So 50.8 millimeters. So what I'm gonna do is use that pipe to align those hinges onto that boat so that we can go and see an Antarctic polar bears. Apparently they exist, allegedly. So I've been told. Don't think they do. But I mean, you can only find out if we go there. The alignment's horrible, but we're kind of getting there. What I'm trying to do is get this surface flush and this surface flush. These pieces of steel are all the same dimension, so 16 millimeters by 100 mil. So I'm gonna use that as my sort of guide and I'll basically weld the skin to whatever is left. Um, these are the important bits because these take the, the strain. The skin, yes, while it takes strain and all that sort of stuff, it's nowhere near as much as what this internal structure is gonna be. So this is the bit that has to work. probably as close as we're gonna get. <laughs> so what are we left with? If you have a look down here, you can see there's a very slight wobble going on in that steel. But that's okay, because we can now do the alignment better with this stainless exhaust pipe, so I'm not too stressed about that. The bit that I was trying to solve is in here, you can see there's a gap across the bottom. That's fillable by weld, that's not really an issue, so that's only basically skin to 16 mil steel, so we can easily fill that, not worried about that. I was trying to basically get it as close as I could in terms of alignment along that way to these pieces of 16 mil. So one there, 
and one there to line up. I'm pretty happy with those. Um, they could have been better, but you know, first wings that I've ever built, I reckon they're gonna be okay. So I've gone through and tacked it on. Sort of see there's a bit of a monstrous tack there and then a couple sort of in the insides, one down the end corner there. What I wanna do, rather than like clean this up with a grinder or anything like that, I actually wanna sandblast this. I wanna basically give this the best possible chance I can of the best possible weld that I can do. And I'm gonna obviously take my time and just concentrate and do the, the best that I can on this particular join because this one really matters. So uh, we'll fire up the sandblast to get this cleaned away um, and then we'll weld this. But before I do that, I'll probably mount the second hinge over there so that we can blast and then weld both of them at the same time. So with those plates now welded in, um, I can go through and figure out what I'm going to do in terms of strengthening. Now I have been pondering this, I'm thinking about putting a gusset on the front of that plate so that it basically 
Uh, the front of the wing is going to try and pull apart and the back of the wing is going to be in compression. So what I want to do is brace the hinge area of that plate with the centre of the wing. I'll show you what I'm thinking. So this hinge here is going to be trying to rip as the wing, so there's the leading edge of the wing, so between Jess and that hinge is the front of the wing. And that's going to be trying to pull back on the boat the whole time, which is basically trying to stretch this here out. So it's going to try and break these welds and pull it away in this direction. So what I'm thinking is a brace that goes between this 16mm plate here and links up with that 16mm strongback. So it'll be on a diagonal, sort of, if you look across there, it'll be on that sort of diagonal there. And what I'm hoping it will do is spread some of the tension that this hinge here is going to um, experience and push it onto that diagonal over there so that it's not just the welds and, and you know this corner that's taking the full brunt of the load. You got ice like summer sky If it's my good kill I die And now it starts to rain So let's enjoy it 